Hey, Mark Davis here. This is part three, little segments on fishing with the with the Strike King Sexy Dog. I told you I would show you the loop knot that I like to tie. This is a 14 pound monofilament. And what you're gonna do, you're just gonna go through the eye one time. All right, you're just gonna make a loop and then we're just gonna make two overhand knots. One, keep it spread apart. Two, now if there is a tricky part to this knot, First of all, you've got to get it around those hooks, but there we go. If there is a tricky part to this knot, it's working it down. So all I've done, I've gone, I've gone uh, basically a double granny knot twice, okay? Went through that loop twice. Now, I'll hold my line and I'll start to work this knot down, okay? And when I get down here to the end, I'll put it on the, on the eye of the lure and I'll keep working my line down, working it down. Try to work them down evenly. When you get right to the end, when you think it's gonna cinch, you just pull it right there. And there it is, there's your loop knot. And you just trim off your tag in and you're ready to go. And while I'm trimming this off, I'm gonna tell you a few of the things about topwater fishing I've learned over the years. Number one, if you're fishing in wind, and I already mentioned that, you know, the windier it is, the bigger the bait you wanna use. So we've got, oh, he's got Big Daddy here, Big Magnum, even if, if in a stream, windy conditions but keep this in mind when you're when you're making your cast fishing with your top water try to always work the lure either with the wind or you don't want it coming in other words you don't want it coming side straddle across those waves you want to cast into the wind or with the wind so you're going against the grain you can imagine you've got these waves okay fish are looking up so you've got seams in the water from those waves. You want that lure, you know, running vertical along that. You don't want it going with, you know, along the, 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 the you know, the, the valleys of those waves. It's a lot harder for them to find it. You're not gonna get nearly as many bites. So with the wind or against the wind, and the windier it is, the bigger the bait you wanna use. Keep in mind also, if you're fishing a hide in a lake, and don't think these lures are only good on Highland Lakes, because I mean, I've done great with them on river systems, uh, lowland lakes, but you need fairly clear water. But keep keep something in mind on Highland Lakes. If you're, when I, and I catch a lot of them off structure. When I say structure, I'm, I'm not talking about a tree. I'm talking about points, humps, uh, things like that, where the fish are actually holding to or relating to, to some kind of a bottom feature where the fish are oftentimes suspended. Rising water will kill that bite. Rising water on Highland Lakes during post-spawn, those fish will break up and they'll move shallow and they'll scatter. Falling water is what you want and that's what we've got today. We've got the lake starting to fall. I'm looking up there, it's been rising for a week. Lake's starting to go down. Water temperature's around 68, 70 degrees. Most of the bass are through spawning. It's time to go topwater fishing.